Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Young Sage finally back in Car Mechanic Simulator 21. So, it wasn't a glitch that was holding me back. Turns out that you have to do the left and right headlights separately, and, I, and no one told me that. We're actually going to head to the junkyard. We're going to try to. We're going to go to the junkyard six times in this video, and we're going to find cars to rebuild in future episodes. Now, there's some interesting stuff you can find in the junkyard. Stuff you wouldn't expect to find in the junkyard. The junkyard pool was a lot bigger than it was. Yeah, so, story of today. Went to a pirate game. Got sunburned, but I caught a foul ball, and apparently now I'm somewhat famous. Welcome to the world of junk. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> like the world of not junk. <laughs> We're gonna find any vehicles? Where are you? Hey, hold on. Can I get XP for this? You can. <laughs> I don't think this is worth doing for every car. But if you really are looking for XP, head to the junkyard and just examine some shit. I mean, this is a mostly complete car, so... We're just going to jack some free XP off of it. Especially if you're not going to buy it. And yeah, we don't have our tools with us. All we have is the mechanic's eye, I guess you could say. But you can't zoom in on it. Oh, that's an old car. Now, this junkyard is a lot bigger than the old junkyard. I had a video that was ready to go up. Flamo. Yeah, we all know how bad that thing can get. I had a video that was going to go up, but I never actually finished it. That's on a vehicle we can take. Why can't we take a sledgehammer, dude? That'd be kind of crazy. So we're not going to get anything out of this, but you can find crates in these junk piles. I'm do this on every one of them. Alright, so we're getting nothing out of this. That was a very disappointing junkyard. All we had in it were cars that we, are, that we worked on in the past game. Honestly, because I'm looking for a Bolt Cape Mark 7 and, and probably some Nissans. Because except for the 370... Which is pretty much the same as that ribson. A rib stand. I don't know how you're supposed to be pronounced, but it's a thing. I was checking the bag and make sure I still had my foul ball and I don't know. It was hit by J Mark Candelario, but I don't think the Tigers were really in any mood to sign anything. Now, the car auction works a lot differently. There's two separate auction houses. There's one for, like, nice cars, like a Barrett-Jackson auction, and then there's one for crappy cars, kind of like a Copart.
And also tomorrow I will be doing a video on uh, Sonic Tellers. Because it, the, the remaster comes out tomorrow. I don't know what the chances are of actually finding a box, but they're in there. Now, there's only like four or five different car spawns, just like the last one, but there are way more junk piles. These are in really good shape. Why is that shit in the junkyard if it's that good? Crazier there, and I don't. You guys not seeing any cars either, and not just the goddamn hunk, the hulk, these hunks that we can't even touch. I'm gonna be disappointed if we don't even find anything that we that I want. This is a different car than the the old Hellcat that was in the last game. There's two cars called the Hellcat in this game. There's this new one called the Edgewood Hellcat, and then there's the original Bolt Hellcat. I don't know why they did that. Okay, there was literally one car in that junkyard. That was extremely disappointing. If we don't find anything in six tries, we, we'll go to the auction house a few times. Both of them. Because then in the next episode, which is going out today as well, we'll repair one of the cars. If we find a Bolt Cape, Bolt Cape Mark 7, we will do that, and we're going to build a police car out of it. Because if you guys haven't explored the extra parts yet, you're in for a real treat. There's extra parts that can go on any car. And kind of just like stick there. I mean, I don't think it's even a good idea to go to the auction in, the, in hindsight, because we don't have that much money. Most complete rips on Starline. How much are they asking for it? 10k? Yeah, we'll take it. Piece of junk. <laughs> Send that to the garage. Now I have I have the garage fully upgraded now, so. We can't fully repair everything. I wanted to make sure I got all that done before we did any projects. A barn, a barn find map. I 
I did not know those could spawn in there. No, we're not going to a barn because it would be too expensive to buy a car from them. Yeah, the pain of the junkyard is still there. You're a Smith 150, aren't you? A Salem 1500. So this is different from the Smith 150. And the Hinta Moon Mark II. We had a car called the called the Moon in the last game, but they changed the brand on it. How much is it? Five K. Yeah, we'll take it. We're gonna put this in the parking lot. This one's been fruitful. We found two cars. There's no official Nikon Skyline in here. Although the engine in this sky in this Starline is actually unique. That's weird. I retweeted this guy's tweet and he liked it. So you essentially like your own tweet. That's like giving yourself a high five. That is like doing this. High fiving yourself. This shit do take forever. Okay. We got a van. I guess we can repair the van. I've worked on one of these vans. They're actually kind of interesting. Yeah, why not? parking lot. By the way, the parking lot is kind of just like it was. It's it's a building you go to, but you don't actually walk there. Like, there's a background for it. It's not just like a door in your garage. That thing that they added in the last game. Oh, I 
think we bought enough cars because we're now we're down to twenty eight thousand. We're not we won't even have money to build any. So there will not be another video because I don't think I'm gonna have the money to build anything. Cause now we're now we're in a hole again. And something cool shows up. Let's just ignore that. Unfortunately, we cannot buy it. It was in the last game, though, so if I really wanted to build one, I could, like, I could do that. Although, there are more variants in this game than there are in the last game, so, like, there are more, like, special versions of cars. Yeah, we didn't find what we were looking for exactly, but we got some stuff to build. Not like I can really... Thing is, the car about fourteen thousand. I'm probably just gonna flip it. I'll show you guys the parking lot. So we're just going to quickly flip this van. Because uh, that was an expensive vehicle, and I don't actually plan on doing anything to it, so... We're just going to move it inside, and we're just going to... I clean it up and sell it. I can make a quick buck on it. And the welder actually has a different animation, by the way, so... It actually does something. It doesn't just magically fix the car. Well, it does kind of still magically fix the car, but it showers sparks everywhere. You know what, just for the piss of it, we're going to wash this thing, too. I believe it's free to wash a car. You have to do this for any, any paint job. This will get all the grime off of there. See, look, it looks really clean now. And we could sell this thing for quite a bit more money than we bought it for, just because of how quickly we flipped it. I'm actually going to lose $768. Yeah. So I wasted money. I actually overpaid for this thing. So yes, you can no longer do that. You can't just clean it up and then flip it. That's not a way to make money anymore. Yeah, but in the next video, we'll rebuild this. Which I'm actually going to start filming right after this, right after this one is over. So, guys, hope you have enjoyed this little look at the junkyard in Car Mechanic Simulator 21. Actually, we have a really complete car. Let's just take a quick look-see at this thing. This stuff should be mostly repairable. Just 
based on that, it should be pretty much repairable. And we have the big parts. The thing is, we have, an, we have an engine block, we have all of our pistons. Wait, do we? Might be missing something. Because there's no oil pan. I don't know what's all in here, because the... Now these cars are like be built up without actually being complete. It's strange. I did this to a van and actually I ended up taking off more crap just to get to a part that I'd already put on. So guys, we'll we'll get this thing going in the next video. Hope you have enjoyed this look at the junkyard. I've been Young Sage. We'll see you next time.